I must say it's pretty good being... Oh yeah, say goodbye to WWE development. I must say it's pretty good doing a Let's Play again. Simply because the work is so much easier than making an actual review. It's quite refreshing too. As you know, Mr. Heyman Brad has a great run. WWE developmental. Ever since I've taken him under my wing, of course, thanks to the coach. He's a rising star. It's true, the coach has told me a lot about you. He says that your skills are pretty well developed considering your relative inexperience. Thank you. He says that you're also a bit impatient when it comes to following orders. That would be true. But that's not too surprising. I see a lot of that in our upcomers. But here's a word of advice. And I'd be surprised if you hadn't heard the same thing from Mr. McMahon. To make it in this business, you're going to be asked to work hard, to commit yourself and to follow orders. At least until you've paid your dues. Yeah, he did tell me that. Sometimes, you may not... You may be asked to do things you might not want to, but that's part of business. I'm sure you can accept that if you've made it this far. Speaking of which, I've got a very special opponent for you tonight. I came to WWE, I came to WWE Developmental to, tonight to scout Booker T, okay. And he needs a tuna match, since coach... If you can beat Booker, I'll sh okay. Perfect. Just gotta beat up Booker T. Well, his arms are probably injured, so that, so, you know, it's good for me. I should be able to finish him off pretty easily, especially since I upped the attributes and, uh, screw those ads. I gotta mute the ads in the editing, otherwise they may come um, copyright music sounds, and I, I, I can't afford a copyright strike. Uh, no special conditions, so that's a plus. Single match. <laughs> So yeah, Booker T is a jobber, pretty much. Soccer! Oh, shoot. I see your s Okay, what the hell is reversing again? Damn, he's kicking my ass! Break. Yeah, you better break. Now my turn, Booker T, or King, Booker, probably wasn't, oops, that wasn't right. Two can strike as well. How you like some high flying moves? Booyah! Kick, oh, nope, he's gonna reverse again. That was a reversal. I put the sensitivity on the controller up high, so, uh, that's pretty much what I can do. Hopefully, reversing, that should make reversing easier. I gotta work on his arms, maybe. How do I work on it? What move works on his arm? That doesn't work. I mean, it's working right now for me. Nope, that's not gonna work. Shoot. Yes, got my own reversal in. Nope. That doesn't say much. Shit. No. Fuck. And I'm pretty much done for. Break. Come on, do that momentum shift crap. Do that momentum shift crap. That momentum shift's not doing anything. One, two, three. Okay, let's try that again. Punch to the face! Uh, so he's actually pretty better than the other guys, so mm, stay there for what you will. There we go. That works. I see he's pretty good at reversing. I see most of the WWE stars are better at reversing than the jobbers. That's to be expected. I think the um, difficulty varies in this season mode. 
that's yeah, it's to be expected. Break. And piss on you. I'm still going with the riff. Okay. Oh crap. Oh, got me pretty good there. No. Yeah, I really gotta change their moveset. Their headlock's quite annoying to use all the time. No crap. Okay. Break. Yes! I think I'm getting better at reversing. That's definitely a good thing. Take him to the middle of the ring. It's hard to talk whenever I'm mashing on A, so that's why he might periods of silence. That and when I'm getting my ass kicked. Uh, right now I seem to have the upper hit. I seem to be doing uh, another headlock. Uh, yeah, I seem to have the upper hand. Seems I have the upper hand right now, so that's a good thing. Although my guy's getting pretty tired. If I keep this up, Booker T's gonna have. Yeah, that's a big reversal. Shit. That's what I'm talking about. Make him tap. I'm working on his head. So, you know, that's the first thing that turned yellow. It's pretty much what I'm working on. Oh, here we go. You suck, Chance. Hopefully, this should be it. Power bomb into the pin. One, two, and three. Defeated Booker T. Yeah, I rhymed. Wait, I can beat him up some more. Mm. Well, that was interesting. Probably the hardest match I've had so far. But still, it's always satisfying to win. Oh, think I need a break from that match. Oh no, here we go, Mr. Heyman. What do you have to say? Well, I must say, congratulations are in order. Thank you. Even with the stakes as high as they were, I'm a little surprised that you were able to upset Booker T the way you did. But then, as the builder of professional wrestling empires, against all, against all the odds, mind you, I'm a stranger to upsets myself. No, you are not. Of course, so what about the promotion? Right. As I was saying, on behalf of Vince McMahon and, uh, the, uh, yeah, and the WWE, I have to offer you a run on Sunday Night Heat, beginning next week. If you continue to impress, you'll be offered a WWE contract, and either I or another WWE official will assign you to Raw SmackDown at that time. So again, congratulations. Say goodbye to the WWE developmental and hello to the WWE. Sweet. This is what I'm talking about. You get somewhere when you do stuff in the story mode, and it's, 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 it's quite satisfying, even if you are on heat. I'm sure being an actual wrestler, just making it to heat, uh, is quite an exciting prospect. Sure, but, you know, when it actually happens, it's also quite exciting. Yep, that's another episode. I'll see you again next time.